Hey there guys and welcome back to the Long Dark 7 day series. This is day 2. At 4 hours exactly we're going to go back out. And we're going to search for more fuel. And we're going to have to take a torch. Okay. Cause... Wow, are you fucking kidding me? Oh god, my calories and my... My everything. Uh... Birch bark. Okay. Can't feel my feet. Yep, yep. Uh, okay. Shit, my food. Can't take that. Okay, it's annoying how. Oh, that's a fucking branch. No. Is there any more easily pick upable wood around here? Okay, we're dying. Too cold, too cold. Okay. Add fuel. Oh shit, I added my torch. Well, fuck. How's my, uh. Okay, my water's fine, my sleep is fine. I'm just hungry and cold as balls. Numb. Okay, yeah. Also starving. Yeah. So I, I guess let's uh, melt like two liters of snow. And then boil two liters of water. Seeing as we haven't got much to do, and the water's obviously gonna be useful later. Okay, let's, let's go back out. Torch. Is it gonna go straight out again? Yep. Okay. Where was that? Was there was something? Rose hips. Don't need those yet. Okay. Cool. cool. Good to know. Gonna die if I don't get some food, but. Not much I can do about that. I mean, like, it's 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 nice that there's some branches here, but Ah, oh, some firewood. A, a stick. Some rose hips. Break down this branch. Please don't say it's getting warm it's getting warm again. Okay, good. Now we'll head back. It's too windy to blurt a blurt burger. Okay. We're back here. Uh, no, I just... Okay, well, we'll light this in, I guess. Uh, add. Add. Okay, I added. I, I mean, there's no reason to have the torch. So, and we got nothing else to do, and there's no way to pass the time. That's a little aggravating. And there's no more food. Maybe I should have waited to eat. Maybe that was my issue. Um. Can be used as tinder. Okay. I guess we'll harvest these just to kill some time. Um. 
no actions there. Can we, like, take this off? No. Okay. So we take that off, and then dry it? No? How do we dry it? Harvest, repair. Um, two percent wet, twelve percent frozen. Okay. Take those off too. How cold are we? Okay, it's still going up, so. We take this off. Those are these, these aren't too wet, so we'll leave those on. Hopefully, these will dry. Is there no way to like pass time or rest? Okay. Stick, newsprint, newsprint roll. Okay. It's nothing that can be done about the food. I, I guess you last me through the night. Oh, okay. So tired. I should. I should put. I can't. Damn it! I took my clothes off. I'm gonna. Okay. <laughs> So we did. We did get there in the end. Thought that storm would never end. Need to find some food. Okay. So we need to put our clothes on. There, that. Okay. So these are dry now. Um. So yeah. Wear those. That's everything. We got uh, an hour or so of crows. Your crows. Your ears are be your best sort of survival tool. Pay attention to your surroundings. Might glean information that's important for your survival. For example, a murder of crows circling up ahead might suggest an animal corpse, carcass, or even a human corpse might be nearby. Okay, so there's crows circling over there. It was a hell of a storm last night. Through that tree, clean over. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this is a tutorial. I'm st I'm actually still worried about getting freaking murdered, which is hilarious about well about dying, which is hilarious because. Uh... Okay, I'm picking this up apparently. Forever remote transport, Mackenzie speaking. Whoa, whoa, slow down, Wolf. What are you talking about? It's okay, Morgan. I've got it from here. Interesting art. Been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since. I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well, what brings you? I mean, are you sick? 
No, no, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of the Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Or Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. For someone who's asking a favor. The weather out there is bad. Bad. But it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Okay. Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. I, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? It's because it's I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. And we're going to crash, and then I'm going to have to survive in the wilderness. And I guess take your case with me, for reasons of... We've got to get the job done. Okay, well, I guess we've got somewhere we've got to go. Whatever's in this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already died. But, that's, uh, okay. Oh. Clothing is armor against cold. Out in the wilderness, clothing is like armor against the elements. Wear layers to stay warm. And remember, wind is your enemy. Clothing offers different protection from cold and wind chill. Your clothes can get wet from blowing snow, or if you fall into water, which makes them ineffective and increases your risk of hypothermia or even frostbite. Keep your clothes as dry as you can. Finally, clothing can protect you from physical injuries as from falling or tangling with wildlife. Balance all these factors against weight and mobility cost of your combined clothing. Okay, well that's frozen, so we'll have to dry it. That's a, that's a bag. That's a bag that we can't open for some reason. I'll take that stick. Ignore branches, take sticks right now. Wait, climb, climb the cedar limb? Requires hatchet to break down, okay. But there's a stick. This carcass could save my life. It doesn't look too good, but what choice do I have? Take a little bit. Okay, let's hope that the fire's still going, because we don't have that much food. Uh, let's also not go that way, that could be deadly. That's another stick. That's a branch. Okay, we'll sort out some food for us. Oh, there's more sticks. Good, 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 good. Sticks are good. That's a branch. Ah, there's some firewood. 
These are all good things, guys. These are all good things. Oh. Where did those come from? Did I just not notice them? Need to find some place to escape this cold. It's not that cold compared to what we were dealing with last night, dude. Okay, that's nothing. It's very hard to tell sometimes. That's a crate that we can break open later. When we've got the time and energy. Some more firewood. Awesome. And the fire's still going. Brilliant. Okay, so first thing we need to do... Uh, add some fuel and then cook the venison uh, it's gonna take uh, the fire is gonna take an hour and 20 minutes it doesn't say how long the cooking will take not too long okay okay and now what we do is we eat it we eat the the venison <clears throat> and we check out how the uh, how the coat is doing. Seventy three percent frozen. Okay, awesome. Branch, branch. We'll break open this uh, crate. Break down this crate for some uh, for some fuel. Oh, books. Sweet. Um, empty metal container. I guess there was something in that crate. Uh, there was something in those crates, and that's what we found. It's just we couldn't see them. So we got some accelerants as well. That's good to know. Was there another crate around here that we failed to notice things dropping out of? I don't think so. So let's go back over here. I don't think there was a crate down there. Are we too cold? Well, no, we're not too cold. He said he thought we could climb up there. Still can't do anything with that bag, which is interesting. Balls. Deer carcass. Huh. Uh, okay, so let's take all this meat. It's going to reduce our everything. That's fine. Okay. And we'll head back this way. God damn, I love games where you're just like, oh yeah, awesome. Drink some water. I should, probably should have gone inside to do this. Uh, the fire will probably be out, but we've got enough now, I think, to uh, to start the fire back up. Yeah, fire's gone out. All right, that's fine. Uh, so we'll start with this. A little bit silly of me to let the fire go out. It's a lot easier. Um, I've, when I played this game before, there were times where, like, Come on. the fire would go out and I'd die trying to start the fire back up because I was freezing to death because I left things too long. So, like, in general, it's better to not let your fire go out. Uh, in this game specifically, I, I don't know about in real life. You know, I think probably it's, uh... So we've got 30 minutes. Let's put uh, some cedar firewood on it. There we go. Now we've got an hour. Let's cook this gamey venison. I wonder if it stays... If I, I think we need to cook it all, really. Heat output is not amazing. Uh, fuel. So let's chuck in some... Uh, sticks. And then let's cook the rest of this food. <clears throat> okay, now 
let's see about eating some of this food. What do we need to do here? See if you're strong enough to climb out the ravine. Scavenge what you can and eat until you're full. Okay. Eat some more. Okay, we should probably save the last bit of venison. Let's check the radial. Light sources, food, drink. Drink. Okay, so we've got some potable water. First aid. Don't think need, we need to use any of that right now. Campcraft, just a fire. No, 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 no cancel. Alright. Um, we're not that warm. If we drop this here, will this dry out? Okay, so let's let's add in uh, the cedar firewood and a book. Two hours. Okay, and we'll leave this here. Okay, yeah, it's definitely unfreezing, which will be good. Uh, what can we do around here? We could break down a branch. Or two for some more sticks. Um, looks like a bit of... Okay. Take that stick. Is there anything else... Let's just have a quick check around here. That's a branch. I'm going to ignore it. Okay, we can't jump. My head feel thick. You're fine. Okay, nothing there. How's the coat looking? 82% wet. Okay. Uh, let's do two liters of water and then potable the water. Uh, we'll boil the water just because uh, let's actually add in a book. Some sticks. There we go. Uh, let's now boil the water so that we have a bit more water. And then if we have like an hour of fire left, we might, if we do have to come back here, uh, we'll take this with us because it's now not too wet. Uh, no, we want to wear it. It's a little bit annoying to do it this way, to be honest. Yeah, it's a little bit wet, but that'll do. Okay, now we'll try and uh, try and get out of this area. How are we doing on time? We're doing okay-ish. Good to know. And we've got a little bit of food left. No idea why we can't check out that backpack, but bugger it. Uh, sometimes Mother Nature is your pharmacist. Craft rose hips into a preparation that can board in water. Produce a tea. Okay, so. May as well rest up. No telling what tomorrow will bring. Oh, God damn it. I got some rose hips. I feel stronger than Uh, as you learn things about the world, either through your own actions or through interacting with people, you can unlock knowledge about people, places, things, and actions. Deeper knowledge can be revealed when you gain the trust of other survivors you meet. This knowledge is tracked in your journal for future reference. Okay. So. Uh, this is still 13% wet. How are we doing on... Okay, we're doing okay on all of that. Uh, we've got some rose hips. We should. Okay, we'll, we'll make we'll make the run. Do we see anything new around here? Don't think so. 
And actually, just before we get out of here would be a good place to, uh, would be a good place to, let's just double check this. Yeah, no, still can't do anything with that. Okay. So let's, uh, harvest these rose hips and take them. Okay. So let's uh, end this video here. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, let me know if you'd like to see more of this. I do enjoy this game. It's very fun, so I'd, perfectly, I'd be perfectly happy to do a proper series on this after the seven-day series. Uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.